Hello students. Today we shall move to the second unit of the first chapter. Here we are going to learn about electric potential. So let us see till now what did we learn? We learnt about electric force using Coulomb's law. F is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square where the two charges Q1 and Q2, the force between them we studied. And the second, we learnt about electric field. And electric field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. The electric field is force acting on a test charge. So, we studied about that. And we learnt about Gauss theorem, which talks about electric flux, which is written in integral calculus way E D S the surface integral of the electric field over a given closed surface is equal to charge enclosed in the surface within the surface divided by epsilon naught and in today's video we will study about electric potential we all about learned about gravitational potential the way in which the earth is attracting every body towards it now, let us consider a point charge Q, fine, and it is having electric field around it. I wanted to know what is the electric potential. Let us first define what do you mean by electric potential. We use the symbol V, that is work done in moving a test charge. The work done in moving a test charge is called electric potential, right. Now, for example, if I have a positive test charge, let us say Q0, and I wanted to move this, I can do it in two ways. I can take from here and I can move it outward in the direction of the electric field. Fine. And to take the distance R. In other way, it's a simpler way is to take the test charge at a very far away distance, right? And we call it as infinity at a point called infinity very far away right and from that distance we bring this charge slowly and place it at this point p right and what is the work done in moving the test charge from infinity to that point distance r from the charge that we are going to now calculate i hope the whole thing is what is the work done in moving the charge from infinity to the point p in the electric field fine now for that we need to calculate work done now what is the formula for work done work done is equal to force into displacement right now displacement is we are going to move it through a small 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 distances called dr dr is nothing but small distances delta r okay now we will first calculate what is the small amount of work done, dw, in moving the charge with the small distances, dr. This is actually the small amount of work done. If I know what is the small amount of work done in moving the charge, I can calculate the total work done. Now, how to calculate the total work done? Total work done is equal to integral dw. Integration stands for summation, adding up, adding up so many small quantities, right? And that is equal to integral F into dr. Okay, now let us be careful when we proceed further. What is F? The force. Force is from positive and this is the positive charge. It is repulsive. It is going away. But what I am doing, I am doing work against the electric field so i have to apply a force in the opposite direction that is q naught into e you see here electric field is equal to f upon q naught and f is equal to q naught into e but i am moving it against the electric field so the force i am applying here is minus q naught into e okay so let me substitute here integral I can take the minus sign outside Q0 into E into dr. dr is the small distances I am going to move it into the electric field. 
that is equal to minus integral q naught what is e according to coulomb's law 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r square okay let me substitute it 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square into dr now it is very simple integration you need not fear much about integration we use very little less of mathematical concept right so that is equal to minus let us see what are all the constants in this 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant take it outside like this right and q q naught is a constant q q naught is a constant and what is the variable r the distance and dr which is the respect to that so dr upon r square this is the first stage to calculate the work done so you see integration mark is there and i have taken the constants outside and only the variable dr and r square these two points are there within the integration mark okay fine now let me proceed further to derive this equation fine you see very carefully from where i move this charge to where i am moving integration what is the lower limit and what is the upper limit from where i am bringing the charge and to where i am bringing it from where i am bringing from infinity so let me write work done is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught integral dr upon r square right i move it from infinity to a point r in the electric field okay that is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught integral r r square goes up r power minus 2 dr from infinity minus infinity to r is i'm going to move it that is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught now i have to integrate it's very simple right so infinity to r r power minus 2 is there in integration integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 add 1 to it and divided by n plus 1 plus a constant forget about this now so it is just adding 1 to the number in the exponent in the power so minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 into d now once i have integrated what i do i just remove the integration mark okay fine now i put a bracket like this and it is from infinity to r now let me take the next step minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught yes r power minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 r power minus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 and it is from infinity to r lower limit to upper limit that is equal to now minus minus is gone so you got 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught of r power minus 1 can be written as 1 upon r from infinity to r so what is this whole thing this is the work done let me apply the limits now that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught of r will take the upper limit value first that is 1 upon r minus it will take the lower limit value 1 upon infinity so 1 upon infinity is 0 and i have got this equation so let me erase this part of it now let us see now what we are doing the next step fine now i got work done is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught into 1 upon r so this is what i have got with me this is the work done now we define electric potential our derivation is electric potential is equal to work done moving a charge from 
infinity to this point we have taken w upon q naught w we calculated 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught upon r divided by divided by 1 q naught r multiplied by reciprocal 1 upon q naught so q naught q naught goes you have a formula v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by r so this is the formula for the electric potential electric potential is measured in volt you see very carefully the force f is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 upon r square next stage electric field is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square and at last we derive the electric potential the work done in moving the test charge from one point to another point or from infinity to a point in the electric field which turns out to be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r with this, we have completed the concept of electric potential. See you in the next video.